welcome back. I have been really getting into my morning routine. I'm sure I've talked about it at some point throughout the videos that I've done. But um, my morning routine, especially on the days that I teach, consists of getting up an hour and a half early, making sure I shower, making sure I make myself some breakfast, biking over to class, and that's that. And then of course after class I've got the workout, meditation, all that. There are a whole bunch of things that go in my morning routine. But breakfast and what I eat is a big one of them. It's something that I put a lot of time and thought into. Not really, that's a lie. I don't put a lot of time and thought into what I eat for breakfast. But as my friend was just explaining to me, cold cereal, like quick, like, yeah, pour yourself a bowl of cereal, get some milk on top of that, eat it with a spoon, that is actually pretty detrimental to, um, to the way in which we function later on in the day. So it works and it doesn't work. The reason why it works is because when you eat this processed cereal, cereal that's meant to be just, okay, quickly consumed, eat it and go, it has a ton of glucose and a ton of sugars that go right to your brain and wake you up immediately. So it's the glucose and sugars that quite literally just like wake you up immediately. You're like, okay, I'm good to go. I'm awake now. I'm going to go and like take the day on and do whatever. The problem is, is that glucose it, it, it is used up extremely fast. It burns very fast. So it goes to your brain, right? Like you're up, you're awake, and you're doing well, you're functioning really well, but then all of a sudden, two, three hours into your day, you get what's called brain fog. And I can't say if I've ever experienced brain fog. I'm sure I have. I feel like my brain is always foggy, but brain fog. And that's where you lose focus, and that's where you can't really pay attention. And even as hard as you try to follow up, as hard as you're trying to keep up with the readings, as hard as you're trying to keep up with the professor or whatever, it's just not at that level where you would have been should you have chosen a more sustainable breakfast. Um, yeah, so this is something that I learned. Now, my breakfast typically consists of oatmeal, which I guess is a far more hearty, far more sustainable breakfast to have. Um, because it does not contribute to brain fog uh, like a lot of the processed quick cold cereals do but you know who am I to judge I like I like Kellogg's I like I like eating sugar cereal every now and then I don't really have a lot right here right now I think I got raisin bran up there listen there's nothing wrong with eating that sort of stuff by any means but uh, I don't know now that I know this, it's more like I'd make, I'm much more likely to make an informed decision based on the day that I have ahead. If I don't have a really crucial day where I've got to be on top of everything and I've got to be hitting every single mark, then sure, pour me a bowl of cold cereal. But if I'm going to be doing something that is going to require a lot of attention, a lot of focus, it's going to require me to be present every single moment of that day, then I'm probably going to opt for uh, something a little bit more hearty, something more sustainable. So... There you go. All right, till next time.